XRP just became the most dangerous asset in global finance, and the SEC lost the war. Welcome to Insider Tech. Today we reveal how XRP survived a five-year regulator siege, won legal clarity in 2025, and is now positioned to bridge $3 trillion in daily cross-border payments. No hype, just facts, beginner-friendly. No blockchain dictionary required. Smash that like button, hit subscribe, comment 589 below, and let's decode the comeback. First, the names, because 90% of confusion starts here. You didn't buy Ripple, you bought XRP. Ripple is the company, XRP is the cryptocurrency. Think Disney and Mickey Mouse. Disney builds the parks, Mickey is the character everyone pays to see. Ripple builds payment software, XRP is the token that moves the value. Critical difference, if Ripple vanished tomorrow, the XRP ledger keeps running. Decentralized, immutable, unstoppable. Phase one, the problem XRP was born to kill. Moving money across borders is broken. Send $1,000 from New York to Berlin, two to five business days, $20 to $50 in fees, exchange rate markup, correspondent banks touching it six times. The system is SWIFT, a 1973 messaging network like fax machines for billion-dollar transfers. XRP says send value like email, three to five seconds, fractions of a penny, no middlemen. That's the pitch. Phase two, how it works. No mining, no staking, no drama. XRP uses the XRP Ledger Consensus Protocol. You hit send, transaction broadcasts, independent validators check it. 80% agree, done in four seconds. No energy waste, no GPU farms. One transaction uses the power of a text message. While Bitcoin burns the electricity of Argentina, XRP runs on a laptop. Eco-credential number one. Phase three, the centralization myth. Ripple owns 40 billion XRP in escrow, releases 1 billion monthly, sells to institutions, funds operations. Critics scream centralization, but the ledger has 650 validators, only 20% run by Ripple. The network survives without the company. Proven in 2021 when Ripple's servers went down, XRP Ledger kept humming. Decentralized enough. Phase four, the lawsuit that almost killed it. December 2020, SEC sues Ripple, claims XRP is an unregistered security. $1.3 billion raised illegally. Exchanges delist, Price crashes 80%. Community in limbo. July 2023. Judge Torres rules, XRP on exchanges is not a security. Programmatic sales legal, institutional sales, security. Partial win, price doubles overnight. August 2025. Final settlement, $125 million fine. Case closed. Stricter rules for institutional sales, retail trading, full green light. From near death to regulatory clarity in five years. Smash, like if you held through the dip. Phase five, the Trump pivot. 2025, new administration, SEC drops appeals against Coinbase, Kraken, Binance, crypto legislation fast-tracked. XRP named in U.S. Strategic Crypto Reserve Proposal alongside Bitcoin, Ethereum. Five years ago, banned from exchanges, now potential national asset. Phase six, the real use case, three trillion reasons. Daily cross-border payments, three trillion dollars. Swift handles 1.5 trillion, 24-hour delay, 2% fees. XRP live with 450 financial institutions, Santander, SBI, 
Standard Chartered, American Express. On-demand liquidity, no pre-funding. Settle in four seconds, save 90% on fees. Phase seven, the tech stack. XRP Ledger, 1,500 transactions per second. Scalable to 50,000 with side chains. Fees, $0.0001, fixed. Consensus, 150 validators, six continents, no single point of failure. Phase eight, the competition. Stable coins, USDC, USDT. 150 billion market cap, but require trust in issuers. CBDCs, 110 countries piloting, but siloed, no interoperability. Stellar, Solana, Algorand, fast, but no institutional traction. XRP has the banks. Phase nine, the price truth. 2018 peak, $3.40. 2025 average, 65 cents. Post-settlement surge, $1.20. Volatility, yes, but adoption drives price. If XRP captures 1% of swift volume, 30 billion daily, price models show $10 realistic. No guarantees. Hit subscribe, we track XRP adoption weekly. Phase 10, the future bridge. Central banks launch CBDCs, need neutral bridge asset, XRP positioned, ISO 2022 compliant, quantum resistant roadmap. 2026, RippleNet connects 50 CBDCs, XRP as settlement layer. 2027, 100 countries, 1 trillion daily volume. Democracy of money. But risks remain. Regulatory whiplash, competition acceleration, ripple escrow dumps, market sentiment. No crystal ball. We ran the numbers. Take a remittance corridor, Mexico to US, 50 billion annually. Western Union, 5% fee, 2.5 billion lost. XRP, 0.1%, 50 million cost, 2.45 billion saved. The math wins. Phase 11, the new normal. By 2030, XRP is infrastructure, invisible, instant, global. Your coffee purchase in Tokyo settles in New York before you blink. No headlines, just plumbing. The chain that survived the SEC. Question, would you use XRP to send money abroad? Drop your take. This is insider tech. I do the research so you don't have to. Like and subscribe before the next crypto breakthrough. Thanks for watching.